Here we want to find the equation of a tangent line to this function with a slope of 4. Remember, equation of a tangent line should set off alarm bells telling you you need two things. You need a point and you need a slope. The nice thing is that they've already given us the slope. They told us the slope is 4. But how do I get the point? Well, in this case, we want to use the fact that the derivative means slope. So one thing to take away from this class is that derivative means slope. We are told that the slope is 4. So that means the derivative is equal to 4. Let's go ahead and get our hands on the derivative. The derivative of this expression is f prime of x equals 3x squared minus, the 2 will come down in front, times 3 halves is minus 3x, and the derivative of negative 2x is just negative 2, and we're told that this is equal to 4. Uh, let's go ahead and start solving this for x. I'm going to subtract the 4 over from the left to the right, giving me 3x squared minus 3x minus 6 equals 0. Notice that there's a factor of 3, 3, and 6. Those, uh, a factor of 3 can be pulled out of that and divided through, so I'm going to be left with x squared minus x minus 2 equals 0. Now, how does this factor? Factors into x minus 2 times x plus 1. There are two values of x for which the derivative is equal to 0, or the, sorry, the derivative is equal to 4, namely x equals 2 and x equals negative 1. But we said first quadrant. That was part of the problem stipulated here, is that we're looking for a point in the first quadrant. So x equals negative 1 gets thrown away, and we want x equals 2. That gives me the x-coordinate of my point. Now the last thing for me to do is take this x value of x equals 2 and plug it back into the original function to get my corresponding y value. That's going to be 2 cubed is 8, 2 squared is 4 times 3 halves is 6, 2 times 2 is 4, and then we have plus 8. So we have 8 minus 6 is 2, minus 4 is negative 2, plus 8 is 6. So we have 2 comma 6 and a slope of 4. Now we have to finally make the equation of the line. That's going to be y minus 6 equals slope times x minus 2 to give me a final answer of y equals 4x minus 8 plus 6 is minus 2. This is your final answer.